Today, we got up late and we just want to do a quick and easy and healthy and delicious breakfast. So, we're going to do an eggs and vegetable stir fry. For our egg and vegetable stir fry, we just went foraging in the refrigerator and on the shelf to see what we had left over. So what we came up with was, of course, our eggs. So for this uh, recipe, we're doing servings for three or four people. So I've got six eggs here. I've got a red onion. You could use white onion if you want. I like red onion, so that's what we're using today. Uh, whatever bell peppers you have, I've got some red and I've got some uh, green bell peppers. We'll use those. Um, as well as some cabbage that's left over. I've got one clove of garlic. That's really all you'll need for this. It is breakfast after all. Um, as an option, you could certainly add some mushrooms to it if you'd like. We don't have any mushrooms, so we won't be adding that today. But I do have a, what's called in France, a piment vert. It's also kind of like a very, very mild jalapeno. So you could add that if you want. We've got one carrot and this is a fresh sand carrot. I'm not peeling it because these carrots have a very thin, thin layer. It's been cleaned, it's been washed, but you really don't need to peel it. You know, if, if the, the color bothers you, you could certainly take a, a clean Brillo pad and, and, and just, you know, wipe it with that if you want. Then we've just got a couple of pieces of uh, yellow zucchini and uh, yellow squash and green zucchini. So we'll add that to our, to our mix little bit of uh, celery and we'll finish with some cilantro as well as because we're kind of going for an Asian flavor with this so we are going to flavor it and make our sauce using some oyster sauce and some soy sauce so those are our ingredients let's start cooking so to get started with this recipe the first thing we want to do is we just want to put a I'm just putting this casserole dish in the oven and I've just got it on warm because once we um, the first thing we're going to cook is our egg and we want to keep it warm during the stir fry of, our, of the rest of our vegetables. But let's talk about our vegetables. So we've got onion here and for the onion we really just want to do wedges. So I'm just going to do some, some wedges with this red onion just like that. So we've got our onion cut and for our bell peppers we're just going to be going for something, you know, fairly thin since we are stir frying. And then for our, for our carrot, go very thin. We are going to just cut it in half. And little half moons. And then our squash and zucchini. And what I like to do with these is just we slice them lengthwise and then we just will slice them lengthwise again and that will give us little triangles and same thing with our green and of course zucchini and squash take very little time to cook so they don't need to go quite as thin as some of the other vegetables and our celery just for interest I like to just do them kind of at an oblique and those can actually go in with our squash because we'll be adding our peppers we're just going to do this as a condiment today so we are just going to chop these peppers in this case they're going to just be use as a condiment and they can be sprinkled over the final dish. We are just going to chop our garlic and we, since we are we're, we're going to be frying this garlic we do we don't want to mince it we don't want to make a garlic paste we want to actually have garlic so we are just I'm cutting it in half and now I am going to just like we would do if we're trying to do a very fine dice on an onion, just like that. I've left the root end on, and I'm just cutting through the, 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 the non-root end of it. And now 
we will simply just dice it. Now for our cabbage. Uh, in order to get the cabbage the thinness we, we, would, we would like, I'm actually just going to use a mandolin and I've got it on a fairly thin setting and I'm just going to slice my mandolin just this way, basically shredding it just like that. And of course, to be safe with a mandolin, you can always use the little guard to push it down. This is a large piece, so I don't need to use it quite yet, but as we get closer to the edge, you can certainly use that just to guard your fingers. These mandolins are quite sharp, and that's really all we need. And those are our vegetables. We are now ready to start cooking. Our vegetables are all ready, they're cut and ready to go, which is what you really need to do when you're doing any kind of stir fry. We've got our oven heating, and so I've got a bowl here that we're going to use for our stir fry. And we'll just set that in the oven as well, just so it's warm. So now we just need to uh, mix our eggs. So to do that, what I like to do with eggs is, is, is break, break them, crack them away from the bowl that you're actually going to be putting them in. So you have less chance of actually getting uh, shells into your, into your bowl. Eggs are done. And we're not seasoning our eggs before we cook them because the seasoning, of course, will come with the, um, with the sauce. So, but for these eggs, we really want to be able to break everything up. So it's important with eggs when you are frying them or scrambling them that you really do whisk them very thoroughly so that everything is incorporated. Now I'm just going to go ahead and turn my my wok on to very high and by the time we are ready to to cook it'll be the heat that we want so our eggs are mixed okay our wok is hot and it's as you can see it's smoking so now we're just going to add some we're adding some high temperature oil to this we're adding uh, grapeseed oil we're not using olive oil because grapeseed oil has a higher you know smoke point where it doesn't it doesn't burn as quickly as uh, olive oil does and we add a fairly generous amount of, of oil to this and once this oil gets hot we're going to add our egg and we're going to swirl it around so we're going for kind of a blossomed egg where it's really light and fluffy but you really need uh, a generous amount of oil and you need it to be uh, very hot when you put it in so we just add all of our egg at once And now we're just going to swirl this egg around a little bit onto the sides of our pan. And now as the egg starts to set, we can start bringing in these sides a little bit. And you know, depending on the level of doneness you want for your egg, you could certainly flip this egg if you want you know, once it sets a little bit more. Or you can just let it cook on the one side. In our case, I think the one side might be good because it's cooking fairly, fairly thoroughly. Okay, so there's our egg. So we will just put our egg in our bowl like that. So for this next stage, go ahead and just wipe out my wok so that I'm not getting burned egg in the rest of our dish. All right, and we want to get our wok nice and hot again. And now we'll add a little bit more oil to it. And we'll just get that oil all over and we'll start our stir fry with our onions. And I like to just kind of break them up a little bit as I, as I put them in. And this is a stir fry, so we want to we want to quickly fry these all these different elements. 
Now one of the disadvantages of, of doing this at home, of course, is that, you know, you see the, the chefs in Asian kitchens with these huge woks, with these huge flames coming out from the sides. Uh, and they create, they generate a tremendous amount of heat. In a, in a home situation, it's just not possible to generate that kind of heat. So it takes a little bit longer and you just want to keep everything moving. And I know the uh, onions are not done yet, but now we want to go ahead and add our bell peppers. And we will stir fry our bell peppers. And at this point is when you could also add your jalapenos or serranos or other spicy peppers. And now because Cabbage takes a little bit while, a little bit long to, to cook. We're going to go ahead and add our cabbage into this mix. And you may think that you know the the rest of the vegetables are not getting getting cooked, but because we're leaving them in there, they will con continue to cook as we. Um, stir fry everything else. In with our carrots. And you can kind of hear, you know, that our heat is, is going, is subsiding a little bit, but uh, it's still hot enough and it's still doing the job. We want to get a little bit of char on our carrots. So we'll just continue to move everything around. And now you notice we haven't put our garlic in yet. And the reason is, is that garlic tends to cook really quickly, especially when you're stir frying it. So we're gonna put that in a little bit later. And now let's go in with our other vegetables. Our zucchini and our squash. And again, I'm, I'm giving these all a, a couple of minutes to cook before we add everything else. And I'm, I'm wanting to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of, of color on my um, on my zucchini, so we let those cook for just a little bit longer. All right, and now let's go in with our garlic. I'm just going to clear out a spot in the center. Let's add just a little bit of oil, so we cause, so we don't burn our garlic. And we're just going to let the garlic fry for just a second, and then we'll incorporate it into uh, everything else. And wow, you can already smell that, uh, the fragrance of that garlic really taking place. And now if you were going to do some mushrooms, uh, add mushrooms to this, you could certainly put those in. You might actually want to put your mushrooms in just before you put your, uh, your zucchini in, because they may take a little bit longer. So now for our sauce, we're going to season this with some uh, soy sauce. And again, this needs to be to, to taste. So a little bit of soy sauce. And I didn't mention it earlier, but I like adding a little bit of white pepper uh, when I'm doing Asian style cooking. And now we'll add our oyster sauce. And I'm going to put in probably, yeah tablespoon and a half maybe something like that okay. okay very nice aroma and now what we're going to do to get our sauce is we're just going to add a little bit of water from the sink into the mix and we want to let this come to the boil This is where it would be very advantageous to have a really, really high, uh, high heat stove and uh, so where you have that flame where, you're, where this could come to the boil quickly. But that is, that is what we want and we just want this to boil and as it boils, it will thicken up and make a, a beautiful sauce. And also reducing, It'll, we don't want it to be so wet that it's just, just liquidy. Uh, we want to do a nice thick uh, velvety sauce. 
So let's just give it a taste. Absolutely fantastic. It needs no salt. It needs no pepper. Well, it needs some hot peppers, but we'll add those later. And what I like to do at this point is just move your vegetables to the side and we'll let that sauce just continue to boil and reduce and become nice and thick and syrupy. And uh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be it. Wonderful. All right, we are good to go. Let's take our, our bowl out and we are ready to serve it up. Our egg and vegetable stir fry are ready to go and uh, we've got it plated up. As you can see, we've got our, our stir fry underneath, a little bit of the egg on top. We've added just a little bit of a cilantro leaf. You could certainly break some up and put it over the top as well. And then we're serving this alongside, we've got some rice. So a lot of people like to have rice with their, with their breakfast. So we've got a little bit of a side of rice here. We've got some uh, sweet chili sauce. Uh, you can have that with it. Uh, a little bit of mustard sauce, a little bit of oyster sauce, and of course, our peppers. So, let's give it a try. The first thing I want to try is, of course, the vegetables. Oh, man. It is absolutely wonderful. Nice salt from the soy sauce, a little bit of sweetness from the oyster sauce, and just some, some richness from that oyster sauce. And wow, and the vegetables all together. Mmm. It's fantastic. Let's try a little bit of the egg. Because again, it is an egg dish. Mmm. Fantastic as well. Well, as you can see, this is a very, very simple dish to make. It goes really quickly. You just need to do your prep in advance and, you know, takes really about 10 minutes to cook it. And you've got a wonderful breakfast, a brunch or a lunch, uh, a nice healthy treat. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, be sure and give us a thumbs up down below and be sure and subscribe to our channel. And when you subscribe, make sure you, you ring the bell so that you are notified every time we release a new video. We really appreciate you tuning in. We'll see you next time.